Our group has focused the problem of decision-making in endodontic treatment, reaching an uniform criterion consensus behind the rationale of various treatment options. In cases with persisting pain and with the presence of swelling of sinus tract, there is obviously a consensus that treatment procedures have to be performed, but identical cases often receive fully different treatment recommendations. The indication for endodontic treatment should, in our opinion, include consideration about the time lapsed from the last endodontic treatment. Clinical data available in literature show the possibility of late healing of periradicular lesions. Less invasive strategies increase the chance of conserving teeth more than selecting strongly invasive treatments. is the role of uh, three-dimensional radiology in endodontic diagnosis and follow-up. The so-called threshold method can be used to evaluate the indication for a comb beam in endodontic diagnosis. choice between conservation of a tooth using endodontic treatment and crown restoration or, or extraction of the tooth and its replacement by an implant remains controversial. In this debate we have proposed an algorithm that could be of some help from the clinician trying to balance relative risk of a treatment options. Decision-making involves two systems of thought, one that relies on intuition and emotion, and another based on reflection and analysis. Intuition generally operates quickly, automatically and unconsciously, while reflecting process is slow, conscious, control and rule-based. The problem of intuition is bias. Confirmation bias is a tendency to search for information in a way that confirms one's preconception. Anchoring bias is a tendency to rely too heavily on the first information when making decisions. Intuition is not always perfect, but can be developed with experience. Because of this, intuition is more effective for those with high expertise.